You're listening to Keen News Station, WKBK, uh, 1290 AM and 104.1 FM. Also available on the internet, wkbkradio.com. If you'd like to give us a call this morning, the number is 357-1290. We're here for the, we're halfway through the show. Uh, We've got candidates kind of backed up on us. So, So we're going to be talking to Keith Carlson who is running for state representative in Ward 3. Good morning, Keith. Good morning. And and welcome. Thank you. I'm running for Keene Ward 3, state representative, like you said. And, and why are you running? That's a great question. Um, I just listened to Chris talk about why he's running. That was a pretty funny answer he gave. But I'm running to help the people of New Hampshire. Right now, a lot of people are struggling with the economy. A lot of people are out of jobs, so I feel like we need to do something to get more people employed. So I believe I have some solutions to that, Which running are? to try to get the answers out there. Which are? Well, we need to cut taxes. That's It's a fundamental requirement. Taxes are higher in Cheshire County than they are in Vermont in a lot of ways. Okay. Which taxes are we talking about? More than one type. Well, we have an issue with property taxes in Cheshire County. They're significantly higher than just across the river in Vermont. And so a lot of the businesses are located in Vermont that could be located here. Another issue with that is the restaurant tax is higher here. So people aren't going out to eat restaurants here. Some people are staying home. Some people are going to other states to eat at restaurants. We could do a lot to bring more businesses and help the restaurants that are already here and expand more jobs here. That's the whole thing. We need more jobs in New Hampshire, and we just don't have them. Can I just... Just two things. One, you said that uh, the businesses are staying over in Vermont, but if you look in Keene, CNS, who's our biggest employer, was headquartered in Brattleboro. It's come over here. here. And you've got two other businesses, one that came from Townsend, Vermont, um, and I can't think it's out in Blackbrook. They came to Keene. And and, 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 and Samson just moved to Keene from Massachusetts because the taxes were so high in Massachusetts that they moved up here. And Keene's downtown restaurants have lost them. I mean, I've, I've been around for a, a while now and saw the despair of downtown in the 80s, correct me if I'm wrong, with buildings shuttered up. And mm-hmm. and now if you look at the downtown, it's 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 incredibly vibrant. And, and, and if you go out on any Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, downtown is a hard place to find parking. And, and in fact, many, many of the restaurants in the downtown moved here from Brattleboro, the, that they that if you went back in the 80s when the downtown w- w- was doing so badly, Brattleboro, Vermont, was really the place for for the restaurants to be. And if you wanted to go out to eat, you went to Brattleboro. Yeah. And and the, a lot of those restaurants have have moved to Keene. So so that you know, we've worked very hard in this community to to invest in this community and to to help this community if, thrive. If you bring the taxes down, like you're saying, it, uh, you're st- you're talking at the state level, right? Well, we need to lower local taxes, and state representatives have the ability to lower local taxes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Yeah. Absolutely. But to get on your point, I totally agree with you that sub-businesses are moving here from Vermont, and that's awesome, but we need to encourage more businesses to move here from not just Vermont, but from other places. And it's already started, like you said, but if we lowered property taxes, more businesses could be able to locate here. I'll give you an example. If you look at the hotels, there's tons of hotels all over our area and if you look at Keene there's hardly any and you can tell why it's because the property taxes are significantly higher here than they are just across the river well, so I, again though again in factually you're not hundred percent there because we have Best Western Marriott Holiday, Holiday Express, Express. Um, the one super eight we have we actually have more hotels than Brattleboro we yeah do. I'm sure we do because it's a much larger population but if and they're 97 percent. Marriott is 97 percent full every day. It's 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 been incredible the amount that they've been full since they've opened. They 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 are. That's why they bought the EF Lane and turned that into part of their Marriott thing. That's why they bought just recently bought the Holiday Express, and that's why they also purchased the one that was being built that the person ended up in jail, and that's that that site out by uh, TJ Maxx. So I mean. They're finding that Keene actually has a great 
um, that they want to expand here. And they're, this is a major company. They're, one of their biggest hotels they have is right down at Gillette Stadium, um, right next in the stadium itself. Um, so they're, they're major players in the New England area, and they're finding that Keene has a great market, actually. So I'm just, I'm just. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me ask you. Once you get in the legislature, you're you're one of four hundred. Uh, what do you bring to the legislature that 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 would assist you in in uh, in trying to influence the legislature in in making decisions that that would have an impact on 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 the local communities? Well, one thing I promise to do is to show up every single day. There's a lot of legislators that have never actually shown up at all. And lots of them show up half the time or two thirds of the time. I don't think that's acceptable. I understand that people don't get paid as le you don't get paid. I understand that, and so it's a volunteer job. Nevertheless, you shouldn't run if you can't actually show up. And I promise to show up every single day, even if I'm sick, I, unless I'm like really bad. I'm going to show up there, and I'm going to vote on every single vote. I'm not going to hide from things like a lot of legislators, even in Keene, do. Okay, uh, we we ha we have a we have a call. Um, good morning. You're on Talkback. Good morning, uh, Kendall. Good, 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 good morning, morning Eddie. Good morning. How are you? And good morning, Mr. Carlson. Uh, I happen to be a resident of Ward 3, so I'm interested in what you had to say. But I tell you, you better look for another issue when it comes to the economy here. Uh, and this, is, this little city here is thriving, believe me. Uh, incidentally, if you want to make a pitch where uh, I stand with a group of people at the uh, uh, are opposed to the wars that's going on in this country. I'm sure you know who I'm speaking about. So if you want to speak to anybody, come on down between 11 and 12. We'd be glad to listen to you. But anyway, this this uh, this city is thriving. Uh, just standing out on the square. When I go, I'm almost ready to head out towards the square right now. But uh, the traffic that's going by and the new cars that are going by is unbelievable. The uh, short automobile dealerships are are loaded with people signing up for new cars. You know, we just built a brand new bridge out there on Court Street. We have a wonderful hospital, one of the best. Uh, I'm telling you, to this community, that, that hospital is unbelievable. And we just built a new uh, roundabout. Of course, you had a roundabout in front of the hospital, the new one up on the uh, bypass, and, of course, the new one on Maple Avenue and Court Street, a new roundabout, just doing a, a tremendous job. Uh, we built a new middle school for what, uh, Chris, you know, about $10 million or so. No, what am I talking about? $37 million. And uh, we had that Black Brook uh, Park out there, it was just a wonderful place. The little restaurant on Washington, on Washington Street, I'll get the name, Kristen's, just moved one of their, half of their business, or they doubled their business by building another uh, restaurant out on Park Avenue. Mm hmm and then we have the uh, wonderful YMCA they just built out there. So when you're talking about the economy, sir, you you, you got the wrong issue here, believe me. So uh, you can talk to us, but uh, so far you haven't convinced me that you are the one I want uh, to serve in the legislature. Okay. Well, thank 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 you thank you very much for for calling, Eddie. Unfortunately, we've got a whole series of of calls backed up here. Uh, so Keene is a great city. I agree. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have we have another call. Good morning. You're on Talkback. Good morning, uh, Keith. Aren't you a free stater? Yes. When I was in the military and I was stationed in Fort Benning, Georgia, home of the infantry, I did learn about a group of people that are thinking about moving to where my family is originally from. So I looked into it, and I don't see what's wrong with supporting freedom. Oh, there's so, nothing wrong with it. Just as so long as you let everybody know that you're a free stater and the things you want to get rid of. My question to you is, if you reduce the property taxes in Keene, and they are high, what services are you going to get rid of? Schools, police, fire, water? None. So Absolutely what? none. We're going to expand services. How can you do that if you cut the taxes? Well, simple. The property taxes are paid for with some state system. That's It's really crazy. The only property taxes I control are pretty much the county property taxes, and so I would encourage other sources to fund them. For example, I would encourage expanding gambling. Young man, you have no clue. Property tax in the city are levied by the city. The school district levies the taxes. It's not the state. 
But I've got my message across. You're a free state with no ideas. Thank so you. the state actually, the state reps do vote on county property taxes. That is one of their responsibilities. So as a state rep, I would push to lower the county property taxes in this county. And I would push to do that to replace the revenue with expanded gambling revenue. And you're absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. That as a legislator, you are responsible for the county property taxes. But how would you? Uh, so you, what you're saying is statewide, you would push for for gambling in the state, right? Yes. If the not, town, not in Cheshire County, if a town wants to allow a casino, I believe it should be allowed to. Okay. Okay. And and so that would generate enough revenue to offset because and we talked about it earlier on our show that that we're all losing money. Um, whether it's the city, the school, or the counties, all losing money from the state because the state continues to, t st uh, to step away from their responsibilities. And at the same time, they continue to cut revenue, which is hurting. They cut 10 cents off the uh, cigarette tax. The cigarette tax, um, which ended up, they ended up a, with $9 million shorter than what they had projected they were going to be at than last year. And the cigarette tax in the state of New Hampshire is the lowest by a dollar. Ten, I think it is in New England. In yes. New England, yes, it and, is. and you know that that all the other states have so much more because it generates revenue. Okay, they 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 took off the uh, the, the added thirty dollars that you were when you were you getting your um your license or you renewing your license. It's registration, uh, registration fee, sorry, and I'm so glad that they did that. That was excellent. My problem is with that is that no one's come up with an answer with that. New New Hampshire has the highest level of failing bridges in the country. And that money was directly utilized, correct me, Mayor, if I'm wrong, directly used for roads and repair. And so that's a concern to me. It was. And, but, I mean, and I, and, I, and I have to say, taking off the surcharge on registrations was not a bad idea because I think, I think that tax was, was a bad but they tax. Didn't come up, but they didn't come but, up with an answer. But the, the answer should have been to increase the, the, the gas right. tax. And, and that's, that's a more, there's a more direct relationship between the gas tax mm -hmm. and, and the need to maintain the, the uh, highway infrastructure. But I guess my point is, is that if you don't have a solution to something that you're taking away, then we just put people don't, at risk. Don't, don't take it away until, until you have, have, you have the answer. I already provided the solution. So the money that comes in from the expanded gambling would be used to offset property taxes. Across the state? Where the property tax, where the casinos, yes, yeah. across the state. Across Assuming the state. that people everywhere in the state would support casinos if right. they won't. And, and, that, and, that, and, 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 and that's certainly a legitimate position that, right. that, yep. that you know, a, a lot of people have taken in, in this state. Democrats and Republicans. Demo absolutely. Lou, Lou Dal Sanders, Senator Lou Dal Sanders, has been pushing, been a, has been been a, pushing it for years. And, and he's you know, a Democrat from uh, Manchester. Yeah. So, okay. um, so any, anyway, I, I, uh, you know, I, oh, we, have an, we have another caller. Uh, good morning. You're on Talkback. So I understand the statement was just made that New Hampshire has the highest number of failing bridges. That's what I've been told. Then how do you justify? I actually think Cheshire County. I think Cheshire County is 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 one of the higher areas for family bridges. Correct me if I'm Ch wrong. Cheshire Instead. County has a number of of, of red listed bridges. And, uh, and, I'm, and, I'm not. I I wouldn't say that Cheshire County is is the highest. And and quite frankly, I think as a percentage, as an overall percentage of the number of and, bridges we have, I think it, and the state it, it's used the to highest. pay eighty percent of any repair. Correct okay. me. Okay, Island Street has. A Bailey Bridge. That's a temporary bridge. Yep. Yet someone in their inevitable wisdom spent two and a half million dollars putting a footbridge across the bypass. Now, you people justify to me, you in the city, how you're squandering or misappropriating these resources. Thank you. I really appreciate that comment, and I totally agree that it was crazy to build that crazy. bridge when there's so many bridges that need help and all of these bridges should be fixed before another single bridge is built the uh, uh, the fun the funds the funds for the for the bridge on uh, across route uh, 12 uh, were specifically designated by the federal government for that bridge that 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 money could not have been used for for other bridges that was not an option that was that was available but uh thank you very much for coming in we're, we're going to call it a little bit short uh 
you know, unfortunately, we got a little backed up. We we got candidates we weren't expecting that that came in.